Hello everyone. Now in this video, we are going to discuss question number 53 of gate B25 exam. And this question was asked for two mark here. Okay. So let's read the question carefully. Consider designing a binary classifier having a function. So f of x is given to us. That is sigma it what? W transpose x plus b, where x belongs to what? R square here, right? Now we have a two training classes, class 1 and class 2. It's a binary classification problem, we can say. And the data points are given to us. Hard margin support vector machine formulation is solved to obtain this weight and w here. So it is given that hard margin support vector machine is used to solve this particular uh, problem here right so what do you understand by this hard margin support vector machine right so let's see that and which of the following options is are correct here so first you should understand the concept of support vector machine here let's say for example we have a classification problem binary classification problem and we have this a different a data point like that okay now this is basically what decision boundary okay decision boundary or we can say a hyperplane right now what is support vector the point which is nearest to a decision boundary for example for this particular class you can see this point and for this particular class you can see this particular point so this two are the support vector here and if we draw a line passing through that particular point or we can say a plane passing through that particular point that is basically a what support vectors here right so this all these three lines are parallel to each other so please watch my video on svm how it works right so if you understand that thing this question can be easily solved okay now we know what's the equation of this particular hyperplane that is basically w transpose x plus b equals to zero and we have these two lines here right two plane which are parallel to this particular hyperplane the equation of this line is what w transpose x plus b equals to 1 w transpose x plus b equals to minus 1 so i have already discussed in my videos so whenever you are dealing with the svm always try to think about these three uh, equations here right now here we have two classes class 1 and class 2 right so now we can allot this hyperplane to any one of this class let's say for example i am saying this is basically a class 2 and this is for class 1 plane okay class 1 and class 2 here we can say that is a uh, plus 1 and here we are dealing with the minus 1 right you can also consider this as class 2 and class 1 and then check whether these uh, conditions are satisfying or not you can uh, do in either way but you have to again verify this particular data points as well okay so we have assumed that this w transpose x plus b equals to 1 that is basically uh, this line and w transpose x plus b equals to minus 1 that is basically uh, this line here okay so we have drawn two plane parallel to a hyperplane here right now this is what we need to consider initially right so it means what if you look at the class 1 which indicate a plus 1 so what are the value of this one w transpose x plus b if it is greater than or equals to 1 it means what that particular data point belong to a class 1 here we can say and here if w transpose x plus b is less than equals to 1 it means what this particular data point belong to a class 2 this is what we can say here right so let's try to solve these two equation here first what is w here w is basically a weight so we can say this is w as w1 and w2 like that a w transpose x x we have x1 and x2 you can see here right now we are dealing with uh, this class 1 for this equation so you can see we have these three uh, data point here if i take the first data point what i can say about uh, this one here you can see 2 and 0 right so if i consider this equation this is nothing but what w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus b equals to 1 right for this particular class we can say so here w1 is unknown so w1 x1 is 2 here right plus w2 is 0 uh, plus w2 into 0 plus v equals to 1 here you can see right so from this we can uh, see here that twice of w1 equals to what 1 minus a b here 
right? This is from this particular equation. Or we can also write this as twice of W1 plus V equals to 1 here, right? Now let's go with second data point here. From here, what we are going to get that is W1 into X1, X1 is 0, that is 0, 0 plus W2 into 2 plus V equals to 1. That is basically twice of W2 plus V equals to 1. So we have this data point. So we have this equation. We have this equation. Okay. Right. Now what about uh, this 3, this 1, this data point? That is basically twice of W1 plus twice of W2 plus V is equals to 1 here. Right. This is what we can write here. We have this third uh, thing here. First, second, and this is basically a third based on this class 1. Now for class 2, we have this equation W transpose X plus V equals to minus 1. So if I use this equation for a class 2, what will happen here? That is W1 into 0 plus W2 into 0 plus V equals to minus 1. Right? That is basically equals to what? V equals to minus 1 here. So here we got the value of V equals to minus 1 for this particular uh, class here. Right? So, it means what? We got the value of V equals to minus 1, right? Now, we have these three things. Let's try to put the value of V here in this particular equation, right? So, from this, what we are going to get? So, let me use a different uh, color here. Twice of W1 minus uh, B. So, minus 1 here. It is V equals to minus 1 equals to 1. So, W1 equals to what? 1. Similarly, from this equation, we are going to get W2 equals to what? 1 here. This is what we got. W1 equals to 1 and W2 equals to 1 by using uh, these two equations. And these two equations belong to these two data point here. And we got B from these three uh, data point here. Right? So, we got the weights here W1, W2 and the unknown value of B here. Right? Now, let's look at the option here. W equals to 4, 4 and B equals to 1. No, this is not correct. We got 1, 1 and B equals to 1 here, right? What about B here? The number of support vector is 3. Now, here we have a 4 data points, right? So, by using this data point, we got the value of B, right? By using these two data points, we got the value of W1 and W2. What about this particular data point? So, if I use this expression now, because this is remaining, what we can say from this one, that is twice of W1 is 1 plus twice of W2 is also 1, minus V is equals to what? So, here 4 minus 1, that is basically equals to 3. So, 3 is not equals to 1 here, right? This is not getting satisfied, right? So, what are the value we got for weights and uh, this particular uh, B here, this point is not contributing to that particular thing, not satisfying the thing, right? It means what? On this two hyperplane, on this two hyperplane, so here we have this two point. This is x1 this is x2 this x1 and x2 both the points are lying on the same hyperplane and here we have let's say x4 and this is x3 here so this will be my x4 lying on this particular hyperplane now x3 will lie somewhere here again because it is under a classification of one class one so it is not lying on the plane here so it is not contributing to a support a vector here so how many support vector here we have one 2, 3. So, you can see number of support vector is 3. So, that's it. Option B is correct here. Right. I hope you understand what I have uh, discussed here. This is very, very important point to note for SVM. Right. So, you can see we got 3 point to contribute for weights and B. It means what? Those 3 points satisfying the equation. It means what? Those 3 point will be my support vector because they are, because they because they all are lying on the same plane here, right? So, you can see nearest plane, support vector, a machine, right? So, that's so that's why we can say number of support vector is 3. If you look at this x3 here, if you look at this x3 here, what I said about this particular uh, class 1, you can see we got the value as 3 here, which is greater than equals to 1, classifying 1 here. So, this point will be on this particular side of this particular plane. <laughs> On this particular side of this particular plane, this is what we can say. So, correct answer is option number B. Number of support vector is 3 here. Okay. Now, what about the margin here? Margin is 2. What is margin? I already discussed in the lecture. That is basically rho equals to 2 divided by a unit vector of this particular 
await here that is nothing but under root of w1 square plus w2 square that is basically equals to 2 divided by 1 square plus 1 square that is 2 divided by root 2 answer will be root 2 so option c is also correct here margin is root 2 so please remember this particular uh, formula for margin rho equals to 2 divided by the unit vector of that particular uh, thing here of weight here right simple under root of whatever the w1 w2 w3 we have that we have to consider okay so remember this important point so what about the fourth uh, thing running accuracy is 98 percent how we can say that we have a four data point and if we got this one as a equation that is w equals to 1 1 here and b equals to 1 so if i apply this particular thing here so all the four are classifying properly all the four data points are classifying properly you can see here so all these three belongs to uh, this class and this point belong to uh, this particular class so we can say training accuracy is what 100 percent here so option d is not correct also if you look at what is given in the question hard margin support vector machine it means what the classifier are linearly separable linearly separable so we can say that all the data points are classifying correctly so training accuracy is 100 percent here okay i hope you understand about these two particular uh, thing if you not so please watch my video based on the svm so that will clear your concept i hope you understand what we have discussed in this particular uh, thing right now you might be asking so everything is understood but what about this one why we have considered this as minus one and why this as plus one what if we interchange these two because rest of the thing is a standard a way to solve the question but this thing what we have assumed here just all the things in the standard procedure here right so let's say for example i am considering this as w transpose x plus b equals to one for this particular class now let's say class two previously we have considered for this class one right and we'll consider this as w transpose x plus b minus one for uh, this particular class let's say class one here right so previously we have uh, considered like this now we are going to consider like this now let's see what happens if i go with this uh, thing class two here what about this one so zero plus zero plus b equals to one it means what the value of b equals to one right okay what about this one if i consider this class one so here we have twice of w1 plus b equals to minus one so twice of w1 plus b equals to minus one and here for this point we have twice of w2 plus b equals to minus one and for this data point we have twice of w1 plus twice of w2 plus b equals to minus one here now let's try to solve uh, this two equation because we know the value of one value of uh, we know the value of b here right that is b b so that is one so from here we are going to get w1 and w2 as what you can see here so this will be treated as one so one will go on this side that will become minus one minus two so this will be minus one and minus one here right now in that case what will happen what about this one so this one will be what minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 equals to what so this will be minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 here right so what we said for this class plus 1 it means what w transpose x plus b greater than or equals to 1 will classify into x2 so already satisfying what about this class w transpose x plus b less than equals to minus 1 will satisfy uh, this particular uh, thing here right so this is basically a minus one here so this is basically a what minus one and here also it should be a, a minus one here okay remember this a point now if i consider this one because for class two it is satisfying what about the class one here so two zero zero two anyway we have used this point to calculate the w1 and w2 so this two point will lie on the plane what about uh, this one so again you can see minus 3 which is less than or equals to minus 1 again classifying it correctly for a class 1 here right so here we got the value of b equals to 1 w1 equals to minus 1 w2 equals to minus 1 here as well right is the option a correct no 
what about the b number of support vectors in this case also we need to use this one this one and this one so three su support vectors option b is correct what about the margin here rho equals to 2 under root of 1 square plus 1 square that is w1 square plus w2 square that is basically a uh, still we have minus 1 square plus minus 1 square that is basically still we are going to get 2 under root of 2 is basically under root of 2 here so option c is also correct here and we already discussed about this data point so training accuracy is 100 a percent here you can see hard margin support vector so in this case also option b and c uh, will be correct here okay so i hope you understand what we have discussed in this uh, particular uh, video here right so it depends on you what you are considering okay either you can consider this as class 1 and this as class 2 or this as class 1 or this as class 2 doesn't matter okay the weight will be a uh, different here in that particular uh, case but here the way we are classifying the number of support vectors the margin will remain the same okay i hope you understand what we have uh, discussed in this particular uh, video so that's it from my side Thank you.